Game four of the NBA Finals where the Charlotte Hornets are one game away from their first ever NBA championship in franchise history. Can we do it on the Timberwolves home court? We will find out at the end of these 40 minutes, these four quarters. Got to come out strong. Lamella Ball, kick it back out. Cedric Lewis open for three. Once again, starting off the NBA Finals with a three-pointer. I swear I've done that every game, if not most of the games here in game in the NBA Finals. Up 3-0, looking to close it out. I prefer to close it out at home. But if I have to close out on the road, I will do so. Marvin Bagley in the post. Kicks it to Mikey Williams, who goes up strong with the layup. Timberwolves are coming out firing on all cylinders right now. They are not backing down. Have a five-point lead. They have been absolutely automatic as Cedric Lewis knocks down three. Number two off the screen. Cuts it to two points. Anthony Edwards now coming down the court. This is a nice court, but my God, those Timberwolves jerseys are ugly as Anthony Edwards pulls up for the mini, and it's off. Anthony Edwards has been struggling in these NBA Finals guarded by Cedric Lewis as he's going to get to the rack. Edwards is going to foul. All right, Cedric's getting subbed that. We have a one-point lead currently here in this first quarter, 3 and 46 to go, and we're up by six to start off the second quarter. So Hornets came all the way back, took a six-point lead, now the Timberwolves have to do what they've been doing basically all series. Playing from behind. Cedric gets the steal. Going right at the rim and gets the layup to go. Starting off the second quarter with a steal for the league leading stealer in the NBA. 14 points already for Lewis in this game. Three steals and three blocks for the Charlotte Hornets. I said they're going to throw a lob to Mikey Williams. Timberwolves are going to call a timeout as we extend our lead 42 to 30. We have gone on what I believe to be a 10 to 2 run. I think we were up 32 to 26 um, when I got sub in to the game. Excuse me. Um, I, either that or we were up 24. We might have been up 24 30 now that I think about it. We we're up 24 30. All right. So we are on a 6 to 12 run since um, starting the second quarter. So, I mean, the Hornets, once again, just unstoppable right now. We got a very. Very favorable matchup here in these NBA Finals since we have experience making the playoffs for three straight years. NBA Finals for two straight as the Timberwolves. This is their first time being in the NBA Finals in franchise history. And um, I don't. I think this is the second time making the playoffs uh, in this simulation or uh, in this career. Lamelo Ball with the fading mid-range. It's off. But uh, Aiton gets two offensive rebounds. He is having himself a day. Aaron Gordon... Uh, I tried kicking it out to him. He's going to post up Danny Avdia and go right to the rack. Aaron Gordon extends the lead once again. Kick. Oh, LaMelo, you took too long to kick it to me. Um, who's wide open? Nick Richards is wide open, and, of course, he's at a spot where he won't be able to make a shot. Bars. Mikey Williams cutting to the basket, kicks it to Anthony Edwards, who misses again. I don't think he's made a shot against me. He is 5 of 8 tonight with 11 points, but I don't think any of those were on me as Cedric just bodies through the entire Timberwolves defense getting right to the rack. That is a grown man move. Anthony Edwards is having himself a game to try and keep the Timberwolves alive. They are still down by 10, but 15 points on 70% shooting is not going to be enough to stop this man, Cedric Lewis. 24 first half points for him up by 13 the Timberwolves have no answer Jalen Suggs at the free throw line looking to cut it to 11 and he doesn't 10 seconds left in this game or this first half I wish it was in the game um Cedric Lewis post fade it's looking good the Hornets are going to take a 14 point lead 58 to 44 heading into halftime in game four of the NBA finals looking to complete the sweep. The lean has the lean. The lead has ballooned to 15 currently. Timberwolves have no answer, and they have decided to run Denny Avdia over Marvin Bagley right now in this game. And Andre Drummond with the rack attack. Andre Drummond with the putback of the century there. 
he has arguably been one of their best players here in these NBA Finals, and it's kind of crazy. Why is no one giving Lamelo any space? Aiden, go up with the Aiden. You even made him jump, brother. You made him jump, and you didn't go up with it. Oh, my Lord. And Mike Williams has a wide-open triple. He misses, though. He could have cut it to 10 there, but it is still a 13-point lead. Aiden, come try and get your redemption here. Um, okay, hey, and you gotta go up with that before. Okay, well, or, or just go up there with um Andre Drummond there. That's fine. On the fast break, we have a chance to extend the lead to 20 here. But the type of defense that the Timberwolves are running right now is just clog the paint as much as possible. Which is leading to open threes. I hit the wrong button. I thought um, Nick Richards was playing um, power forward. Which is just leave basically us open for three, but clog the paint as I'm going straight to the rack 40 for Cedric look at the difference 43 for the team 40 for Lewis and the Hornets are up 20 now in game four of the NBA finals to try and win their first ever NBA championship and they're looking like they are going to do it so far 22 point lead this team has been useless without Anthony Edwards on the floor Mike Conley at the free throw line 45 seconds left he misses the first I honestly thought I was going to get subbed out there. That's why I started talking. But Mike Conley knocks down the second one. He's looking to get his first ever NBA championship before he retires. This will be Mike Conley's last season. Uh, this is his second season with the team as our backup point guard. He was our starting point guard, I think, at one point. Our starting shooting guard. Mike Conley throw up the lob to Lewis. Four. No, 24-point lead for the Charlotte Hornets here in game four of these NBA Finals. It is looking pretty grim here for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Time is running out for them as Marvin Bagley, top of the key, is going to dribble to the basket. Nine seconds left on the shot clock, 17 on the game clock. And Nick Richards gets a steal. 12 seconds left. LaMelo Ball with it. Kick it to me. I'm launching it. Oh, bad release. All right, maybe I shouldn't have launched it. Uh, they're not going to have enough time to get a shot off anyways. Two, one. Herb Jones from half court. It's off. 24 point lead heading into the fourth quarter of game four in what could possibly be the Charlotte Hornets' first ever NBA championship. I mean, it's subbed out. Six minutes left, up by 20. A little surprising. I'm trying to get my teammates involved, but literally none of them are able to score. Like, I can't run any pick and rolls because they have three guys in the paint at all times. And obviously, I can't do any, like, pick and fades because ain't no one going to hit shots. Well, they cut the lead to 12 now. And I can't get off of Mikey Williams, apparently. I'm going straight to the rack. Screw it. And I get fouled. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do this. Timberwolves defense. They might be down by 12, but my God, they are just annoying to play against. Go up by 12. I wanted to step back there, but the game said, no, you don't. You're not getting one. <laughs> Eight and please. Bro, like, they have, they're just locking down the pick and roll. Like, completely locked down. I can't... I can't kick it anyone. Watch. Well, no one's going to miss this. He's going to brick the... Yep, brick the hell out of it, bro. I'm going for 50. I'm going for my second straight 50-point game. I'm going right to the rack. And I'm going to get it at the free throw line. Probably not the place you want to get it. But I had 49 in game two. I had a 50-point triple-double in game three. And in game four, the closeout game, Cedric Lewis will have... His second straight 50-point game, which should be, I'd assume, an NBA record. I have probably averaged the most points in an NBA final series in NBA history, if I were to assume so. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm averaging like 45 points a game in this series. As Dyson Daniels is going to kick it to Drummond. Drummond's going to kick it to Ant Edwards. That's contested very well. Aiton gets the rebound. Decides to give it to Gordon. Let's not give it to the man with 50 points. Nah. Let's just give it to Aaron Gordon. I'm going to go left and right. And that should give it an opening if he wants to shoot it. I'm hitting square, brother. Why? Yeah, I knew they would do it. They, they subbed me out with 20s. I knew they would do it. I knew it. 14 and a half seconds left. They have the ball. I don't I don't know why. Too. 2K, I really, I pray in 2K24, they fix this subbing out situation. Because there's no need for me to keep being subbed out constantly for like 10 seconds or 25 seconds. But the Timberwolves are going to dribble the ball out. And the Charlotte Hornets 
are your NBA champions. They go on the road and take care of business, and now the championship is theirs. To be on the road, to silence the crowd, winning the championship with all of it on the line. What an incredible performance. Hats off to this team. An incredible moment. You can see it in their faces. Forever known as NBA champions. And you can bet back home the celebration has started. Time now to send One it to Adam Silver, the commissioner of the, the NBA, NBA for the trophy presentation. Time now for the trophy ceremony. The whole organization, of course, is an incredible Adam team. Silver. Ready this Larry O'Brien trophy, trophy, and I believe this suitcase champion. are yours. Your Bill Russell Finals MVP. And just like that, the Charlotte Hornets capture their first ever NBA championship in franchise history. What a valiant effort from this Timberwolves team. Mikey Williams and Edwards combined for 40, but it wasn't enough. Uh, uh, Mikey Williams, 9 for 20. He was 2 of 11 from 3, which is terrible. 9 of 20 looks ugly, but it's not a bad shooting percentage. I think it's like 44% or something like that. Uh, Anthony Edwards, 20.7 assists. He had a fantastic game, but did not take as many shots as he should have. Drummond, once again, a solid game, 12 points, 11 rebounds. He had a great NBA Finals, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, uh, yeah, 12 and 11, 7 and 11, 12 and 15. He averaged basically a double double for these NBA Finals. Dyson Daniels only had 10. He had a bad NBA Finals. Marvin Bagley had a solid one. Dyson Daniels, Jalen Suggs, and um, Herb Jones, the so three players that could have been X Factors, all just did not do anything for these NBA Finals. It was really the Anthony Edwards, Mikey Williams show. And most of the time, it was just Anthony Edwards. And for the Hornets, another 50-point masterpiece from Cedric Lewis. 50 points, 4 rebounds, 14 assists, 3 steals, and 1 block. 17 and 27 from the field, 6 of 10 from downtown, and 10 of 10 from the free throw line. Aiton was the second leader scorer with only 13 points. This is one of those games where I had to score as much as humanly possible because no one else was able to. Not because they kept missing due to the fact of the Timberwolves' defense on these pick-and-rolls was just smothering. We could not do anything. Um, Sabonis had 11 and 9. Uh, Nick Richards at 8 and 5. Real, the, our next leading scorers were all our centers. He had three steals and two blocks, though. Good for you, Nick Richards. Isaiah Joe, 8 off the bench. Melo Ball had an awful game. Uh, 3 for 15, 0 for 4. Terrible showing, but it is what it is. Gordon only had 6, and Mike Conley had 6 off the bench. Now, the question remains Will Cedric Lewis return for the last deal on his contract? Will the series continue? If it does. Cedric will not be a member of the Charlotte Hornets for his last season because we still have another month until Madden comes out. Maybe longer. So I, I don't know what I'm going to do, but we will see if Cedric returns. Anyways, that's going to be for me. GG. I just noticed that my camera was off for I don't even know how long. Probably for just the ending. I'll take it. Anyways, I forgot to add this here. Our the NBA final stats for Cedric, 47 points, 6 rebounds, 15 assists, 2 steals, and 3 blocks, shooting 56% from the field, 52% from 3. Now that's going to be for me. I can't believe I keep forgetting to um, turn my camera back on. All right. Adios.